Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Africa. Got another video for you guys today. Today is our yearly, well, I guess almost yearly, but it's a regular Mac OS thing that we always do. We like to do it on close to the release date, if not the best we possibly can, on the release date for the new Mac OS to come out. Now, the new Mac OS is Mac OS Sonoma, and we're going to be showing you guys how to make a bootable installer for this one. Um, and it's going to be pretty fun, pretty interesting. As at least making this video, the we don't have the full version yet. That's still That one hasn't been released. We're waiting for this fall to actually come. So I believe, what, it's going to be fall of 2023, right? So we're in the summer. It's July right now, but we got the public pool access or the public beta. Well, summer, right? So we got the public uh, beta access for it. And we, it's still pretty much going to be the same type of process that you're going to be um, getting the application itself there and putting it on type of a usb there so we're gonna be showing you guys some of the steps there and how to make like a regular usb so let's just get right into it but before we even get started i guess we should look at this this is a mac os uh, sonoma compatible list devices here and we see there's a lot of newer stuff here and there are some older ones that have been dropped so we look at it we see the macbook air which is the device we're actually going to be using is uh, macbook air 2018 and later macbook pro 2018 later Mac Pro 2019 later, Mac Studio 2022 later, Mac Mini 2018 later, iMac Pro 2017, and the iMac uh, 2019 and later. And it looks like that it has dropped support for some of the older ones, uh, notably obviously the Intel ones, which would be uh, Mac the 2017 MacBook Pro, the 2017 iMac. And we have that 12 inch one that's totally gone. Thank goodness. Let's all just take a moment of silence. Nope, we're not going to take a moment of silence. Let's take a moment of celebration that the 12 inch one is actually gone. If you don't know why I have a vendetta against that, well, definitely watch our repair videos on the A1534. You'll see why. So nothing against it, but definitely something against it. So at least it looks like that they did drop some support for that. All right. So I'm using, this is a 2019 A1932 uh, MacBook Air, and um, we signed up for the beta updates for it, obviously here. And another thing you can also do, uh, if you don't really care about this part for the beta, if you're going to be waiting for the main OS, just go ahead and skip a little bit ahead. I'm not going to spend too much time really talking about this anyway, but you can just go to, to updates and then you'll get your update file when you do that. Um, and then before you install it, then you actually have it in your applications folder. Otherwise, you can go through the, the beta process here, but we wouldn't want to be putting some uh, possible buggy software um, with important data. So always try to install this if you're going to be doing this on like a secondary device, not a main device here. Um, if you're interested in that, you can actually go, um, at least if we're doing the betas, you can go to, uh, there's a nice little support page that you can go to. It's the Apple beta software program. You can go to beta.apple.com, sign up for them. Um, again, it's up to you if you really didn't want to do that. I mean, you have to authenticate a few things there and go through the process to be doing that. Then you're eligible for the upgrade or maybe not. Who knows? But you can go that way if you want to do that. Otherwise, if you already have the application, um, before you install it, before you actually do a full upgrade, you want to make sure that you get the application and you want to put it in a certain location there. So now, now we'll walk through really the bootable steps. Once you download it there, you want to move it over to another uh, location so it makes it easier for the installer. Okay, so now if you want to install it, what you're going to need is you're going to need a USB. Now this one, you're going to want to make sure that it's a blank USB and you want to make sure you back up all your data on the USB for this because it will wipe all the data on the USB. So I suggest just having uh, this one as a backup anyway. It's a, the file. Uh, we can actually check the file size for it because we have it in our um, applications already. So let me go ahead, take a look and see the file size of it. Now the file is about 13 gigs you can see so probably just you can get at least a 16 gig would be a minimum that you want to get for it sometimes they partition that a little bit different so probably just get a 32 right because <laughs> you might plug it in you might see that you're not getting a whole lot of storage there and um, yeah so you want to make sure whatever USB that you have make sure it's gonna have enough storage now what you want to do is you want to go over to um, if this is the default or you can actually search in the finder you want to go to, to disk utility and disk utility is going to bring this up and you want to select the, your USB. Usually the name of the USB is going to be by the manufacturer on top there. So you'll usually see like external or something. And then from there, you can wipe it down here. You can go to uh, the disk utility. Um, you can hit erase and you can wipe the data. So we're going to keep the same way. I'm going to leave it in XFAT format. And it was, it's going to change itself anyway. I think it will go to like APFS, but we're going to leave this just as it is. And you can go ahead and wipe it. And rename it you can rename it as this as it will actually make uh, the video maybe a little bit more simpler for you and a little bit of the few upcoming steps so once we have this there we want to make sure that our application is in the applications folder 
And if you're not sure how to do that, like if you have it in, in the downloads or something else, what you can do is you can actually go to the finder and you can select wherever you have it. If you have it in the trash, that's fine too, if you have it in the downloads. And then you can just open another finder. So I like to hit my little trash can there. So let's say it's in the document. So we can bring up that in the documents here and um, we can have pretty much two finder windows and what you can do is you can hit go and there will be applications and from there we can just drag and drop into the applications folder if we want to put it there so that's where this needs to be as long as you have the application here you're actually going to be fine and that matters because we're going to be doing a terminal and the next thing will be a terminal so what we need to do is we need to go back here and it's pretty much going to be the same folders here because this is usually the more of our system tools here and we want to hit terminal now terminal pops up this is by basically manually inputting commands it's very similar to command prompt and windows so what, what you want to do here is you want to type this. I'm going to put this in the description. We can hit paste and you guys can copy and paste this one. Now it's important to get this part, the, this is the majority of the part that you want here. You want to hit sudo applications install Mac OS and we want to rename it uh, Sonoma. And if it's named anything else, you want to make sure that it's called Sonoma.app. So let's go back over here because it gets a little bit confusing or you might not be able to actually run it the right way. And you see when we go to applications here, we'll see it says install macOS Sonoma. And you'll see here how it's written says install macOS Sonoma. And if you add extra, spa extra spaces, this will be wrong and will be different. So I suggest, suggest, suggest you just naming it, um, getting rid of the beta part at the end of it and just link, naming it uh, Sonoma so you, it's easy to keep up with the video. So we do that. Now you see at the very end of it, it says there's a volume. And what we want to do now, we keep this very simplified. What we want to do now is you want to from uh, after volume, there will be a space there and we can just drag and drop the volume that we want to put this on. So what this is basically doing is it's telling um, that we want to install or create a media device for the volume here, over here, which is a Sonoma to our USB. And we're going to have to hit return. Now it's going to pop up with this password prompt. If you don't have a password to this, you actually have to have a password for it to move on. So I suggest making a temporary password in the meantime if you don't have that already. So we're going to enter in our password, then hit return. And when we hit return, that's going to ask me that it's, um, we need to erase it so we can actually install it. And we want to hit yes, the capital Y. And now it's going to be erased in the disk here. So every all the data will be wiped again. So make sure, again, you have a backup of this. and. Now we're going to give it some more access because it's, it wants access there. And it's going to be installing the recovery, installing everything else there. And just let it go because it will take some time. So just let it go. We can come back to it a little bit later. Um, I know this does take a bit of time. So we're going to sit, wait. Um, maybe I'll skip it or we'll at least get to where it shows installing. But it's going to just be doing everything there for you. Okay, so it looks like that we were able to successfully install it. See, it took a bit of time. I'd probably say 15, 20 minutes. Or I didn't look at the clock up there. Right, definitely correct me down below. Um, but it's good now. So what we want to do is we want to install it. So let's just go ahead and plug it in. We'll go to the boot menu and plug it in. Hello, you guys have been waiting. So um, now, usually for these, you need a dongle. I use one of these. So obviously, you need to do that. You just need to be able to connect your U USB anyway. And now what we want to do is we want to go to boot options. And for boot options, um, most of you guys are probably going to have newer Macs. So uh, what you can do is you can hold down um, the power button there. It will boot up to the boot options. You'll see that. Just keep holding it even when the MacBook uh, comes on and it will keep um, trying to boot to boot options. If you don't, if you have the, the, the non-Apple Silicon, if you're a peasant like us, then you have to hold down the option key. And let's just go ahead and press that. And you'll see it'll come up there and just have to wait a little bit. So again, it's the same thing if you have the Apple Silicon. So pretty much the 2020 and above, then you can hold down the power button. Now again, this one's going to be for uh, the beta. So we're going to be doing it there. It'll be called, uh, if you have the, the normal one or you have the mainstream one, or if you have the one that's going to be released during the fall, then you will have that be called Mac OS Sonoma. And let's click that. It takes a little bit of time to boot. Just give it some time. It will be a little bit slow. Uh, excuse the notification in my ear right there. <laughs> We're going through our OBS there. And again, because I'm not on the latest, I have to have an update for this because now I need to do an update for the startup disk. So let's do the update for it. 
Hopefully that won't be the case by the time it actually does come out, or if you have a newer Mac, maybe you won't actually see this at all. So we'll make sure that we do a nice little bump here, or update. And hopefully it doesn't corrupt my system, break my firmware, and I have to go through a, a revival process just to show you guys how to install beta on Mac. Okay, so it, boot, it went right to the boot menu now. So it did the update, but it actually went right to boot menu. I didn't even hold option or anything. So let's try, let's try booting it again. I hope I got whatever update it was going to do. Now this, people, is exactly why if you're ever doing the beta or anything, don't do it on your main machine. It's not worth it. It's probably not really worth it unless you are going to be doing something anyway. You're going to try to be helping with the development process. Um, you want to do bug fixes and stuff. Really just don't recommend it. There's, there's security chips. There's firmware. Um, there's lots of stuff going on here, and I don't know what it's updating. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing now, but now the bar is even lower. <laughs> they set the bar lower than it was previously. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and yeah, let's see. I hope it boots now. No more update. Okay, we're we're in the recovery mode now. All oh, right, it's where I wanted to be. It's where I always wanted to be. And I'm going to put on the internet, which is fine. And now this is a very similar process if you watch any of our other bootables. Before, you go to Disk Utility. You, um, you need to wipe it. If you have security on here, you can go Startup Security Utility. But usually it gives you a, a problem. See, so it has no access to security settings. Just great. So I don't have anything. You have to go use the Command R. If you do have a security, you have to go through Command R, which is the recovery mode anyway. Or again, if you have uh, Apple Silicon and you're not a peasant like me, you can go to the same thing, boot options again, you can go through internet recovery that way. Um, you have to remove a password first, or at least the encryption that they do. They usually do it for an update. They, they encrypt it with your password, so if you have a password, you can just usually enter it in. If you have it there, and then just remove it. It's usually better that way. Uh, we're going to be showing you, again, a clean install of it. So I'm going to be clean install on this Mac. Uh, this Mac isn't even my main one anyway, which is perfect, so I think it's great for it. I have a 250 gig SSD on here, so what you want to do, you can go through uh, this utility part, and on the there's a little view option here. I know I did it really fast, but you could sh hit show all devices. And I like to start the hierarchy, and that will wipe all the data that's on here. What's you know all the data? So we want to make it a blank drive. So I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna call it M Mac. Oh, can you please get that? OS. Uh, or or we, how about let's call it Sonoma and Beta with all capitals. Yeah, because uh, this is a beta. It's not an alpha. It's a beta. <laughs> So let's do that, and you keep it APFS because it's still the format that they want you to use, and it's a nicer uh, format anyway. Well, so we're not even talking about going all the way back. They switched APFS a long time ago, and no, we're not going back. We're going to keep moving forward. So I hit that, and it looks good. So now our SSD is good, and again, that wipes all the data on here if you do that. So back up your data first before you do that because they'll wipe everything. But I assume you're doing that anyway if you're installing a beta software, especially new OS. So now we're going to hit Disk Utility. We're just going to hit Quit Disk Utility, and let's install it. Look at that. Look how nice it is. Nice and clean. I like there's multiple different colors. I actually didn't like it at first. Now I'm looking at it here. I'm like, oh, it's not so bad. Got the green, got the red, got the blue, purple, gray. So let's hit Continue. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time there. And we got our pinwheels feeling. Oh, there we go. That's better, isn't it? Now my camera's slightly tilted into that way. Now we're going to go slightly back this way. And we got our pinwheel going. It's going. All right. And I read the terms. Of course I did. Sign my life away. And now we just want to pick this and then go ahead and install it. It's going to take some time. Uh, everything else took a lot of time. So this is probably going to take some time too. So we'll be right back after it installs. But that's pretty much it. That's how you do a clean install of it. Again, it's clean install. So wipes all the data. So uh, if you're following this thing, and uh, make sure that you don't install beta software on your main device. And make sure you back up all your data, back up a USB if you had that or have a blank, everything. And you don't care about all the data. So I expect that from all you people. Okay? Looks good. Let's log in. <laughs> At least let's get to it. Let's see if anything else changed here. It's probably going to be uh, pretty basic. Let's see. I don't think the dark mode changed my wallpaper. Usually you see like a, they have two wallpapers, they have like a darker wallpaper. Okay. All right. Okay. So it did change the wallpaper. Wallpaper does look a little bit different. Okay. So this is a dark version of it. And yeah, so it looks very similar, at least now. I mean, this is obviously, this is a beta, um, but uh, 
yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. All right, guys, so that's really about it here. Um, if you guys want me to actually make a video just exploring this a little bit on a little more of the features, you can let me know down below. All right, guys, so hope you guys are watching this video. Uh, here's Mac OS uh, Sonoma. Looks to be really nice. Um, it'd be a nice cool OS. Now, over time, since this is a public beta, features are going to change. Um, maybe the whole UI could look a little bit different. I don't know. But we're pretty far out as at least making this video for the beta. Um, if you're in the future and you're watching this video and you want to just see how to make the bootable installer, you probably have the OS. It's A lot of things can change by then. So just let us know down below if you're actually using the beta, see what features are going to be coming and going, see what features you actually do like, see what they should improve on. Let us know down below there too. And if you have the full-fledged version, let us know what they actually removed from the beta because it would be interesting to see this video more in the future when there's a full release for it out. But it looks to be pretty nice, pretty cool. Um, nice new wallpaper. I probably picked the dark one. Probably the light one probably looks a little bit better. But, um, you know, we're... Especially, you know, for, for us gamers and for our, us technicians, we like the dark mode, you know, it's how it is, but Team Dark. So, uh, anyways, I hope you guys are watching this video, and if you did, please leave a like, it really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content, and we'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.